it's your boy heck and steve welcome back to the channel this is just a little follow-up video to yesterday's video on philly flipper i wanted to check out his feedback ratings on ebay so i mean he does have a lot of positives but he does have uh, a hefty amount of negatives and neutrals here so let me share some of the ones that i found and of course you can access this yourself through his uh, you know YouTube videos it's in the link uh, or it's in the description of every video he does so first up seller canceled club was too big of a size to be shipped out of country with the shipping option you chose there was nothing I could do well I mean you could have negotiated and uh, you know found a different way to ship it but I assume that it wasn't worth uh, as much uh, when you had to ship it out of country the international shipping was probably more expensive so that's why you did that Terrible packaging. I'm amazed the item made it in one piece. Loose items rolling around made it almost impossible to open the drawer. Paid $25 for shipping and it could have been packed a lot better for that. Item is mostly as stated. There were six pieces that do not belong to the set. Okay, so I mean for 250 bucks, I would feel pretty disappointed with this experience as well. They're going to get worse though. Received my item and found there's a huge hole in the dog toy. Nowhere in the description of the seller mentioned the hole and the image used on the listing looked as if it was a stock image. So I didn't even notice it. Okay. Item was delivered with several stains after seller reported to me it had none. So lying to clients. Okay. Tote bag listed as good use condition. So I expected general wear, but it arrived with a few leaves and some small bits of paper trash inside. I had to wipe out some type of dried substance. Disappointed that general prep was sh uh, for shipping was not done. I mean, yeah, like you're not even cleaning these items. Like how lazy can you be? Mistakenly bought item and asked for consideration to cancel transaction. Seller declined. Dude, it's a cheap item. Uh, we're talking about a t-shirt here. Like how petty can you be? You couldn't just cancel the order for him. Came damaged. Maybe spend more time packing correctly and less time on YouTube. <laughs> Got him. The listing description did not match the record I received. Seller did not commit to a full refund, so I decided to keep what was received. I mean, we're talking about a vinyl he probably paid two or three dollars for and sold for less than fifteen bucks. He couldn't, he couldn't have just took that hit. And that that's one trend that you'll notice with this guy is like he doesn't make any sacrifices for customers. So he's just he'd rather give the customer a bad experience than keep them as a, a loyal customer. As a business owner, you have to take risks and sometimes you have to take loss to satisfy your, your customer base and this guy doesn't seem to be interested in doing any of that. The item did come quickly and it looks as pictured. I knew the item wasn't new, but it shouldn't have been so filthy. I opened the box and dirt poured out. <laughs> Wow, I literally had to vacuum the floor when I was done. The brush was dirty and not attached, and the place where the brush should have seated was filled with loose dirt. Like, come on, dude. Stop. Stop this. Don't treat your clients like this. This product was runny, discolored, and no longer had any scent. When I contacted the seller, they were sarcastic and insulting. Never again. See, that's ironic because in the video I posted yesterday, he tried to come in there and play the victim, saying that the reason he talks weird is because he's uh, from another country, which at the time I thought he was from Philadelphia and I wasn't even thinking about the possibility of him being from another country or having a language barrier or anything like that, especially since on his Instagram, he says that he was raised in Philadelphia. So he's been here long enough, I think, to like kind of pick up on how to speak English. Um, but nonetheless, you know, the fact that he wants to play the victim, but now I'm finding out from reading these reviews that he's just been a total jerk to people is just funny. Item not as described was not complete sets. Best cards have been taken out of all sets. Yeah, I'm not surprised there. I was happy with the item upon receiving it. However, it was a different story after opening the battery pack and finding out that they were corroded. It says brand new in description. I mean, yeah, I can understand this item is probably old, but like as the seller, you have to inspect what you're selling and make sure that it's good, you know? But clearly this guy just finds stuff and, and sells it as it is and doesn't want to uh, take the time to put it in the description or, you know, he probably didn't even look. I did contact the seller, no response, coat was missing buttons, had to buy new buttons, uh, alteration shops, charge $50 to repair, really wanted a red coat, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Philly Flipper actually replied to this guy, no contact was ever made, no return request was ever started. If any of that was done, I would have made it right as I do for everyone. People really need to learn how to use eBay and not just leave negative feedback all the time. Okay. So you shouldn't publicly have an attitude like that. 
especially when you want people to buy stuff from you because you know people are going to read that and be like nah fuck that guy i'm not going to do any kind of business with him because he's an asshole purchased a typewriter from the seller the package arrived the typewriter totally smashed beyond repair been in touch with the seller numerous times at first i told you i was told that ups was looking into the matter and i would get a refund since then i've reached out to the seller many times giving him ample opportunity to let me know what's going on and nothing hate to be forced into the role of bad guy but i'm out over a hundred dollars and really want my money philly says buyer's right ups did damage her item that was their fault and not mine buyer also had 30 days to start a return and never did so i couldn't refund her don't know how i'm at fault here and got negative feedback well because you're the one that sold them the item um based on other things that i've read that people have said about you uh, you don't package stuff properly so i could definitely see uh this being damaged but i mean you can't necessarily blame ups 100 percent because i'm sure you didn't package this properly and i mean clearly it's a heavy item it's a typewriter um but yeah you still shouldn't say stuff like this like trying to project blame and um not take ownership i mean it's your business this dress is in terrible shape obviously it was washed in a washing machine and not dry cleaned so you send me a low ball 50 percent offer and i still accept then never reach out to me when something's wrong and leave this terrible review shows exactly what kind of human being you are enjoy being a curmudgeon of a person yeah that's uh that's not the right thing to say my friend i politely sent the seller a message letting them know that the package arrived damaged and they ran very small for a size eight and they were very rude to me because i messaged them a week late after arrival i was out of town for a week and my personal life is none of their business that's true would not purchase from them again i didn't even request a refund okay i mean clearly this guy has an attitude problem and so i don't feel bad for making fun of him at all and you shouldn't feel bad that i made fun of him either Dirty, could have cleaned it up, did not say soiled and add. Description of the camcorder purchase said it that it works, but when I received it, it was missing two critical pieces that are vital to make it work. The battery and the charger. The entire description said nothing about there not being a battery or charger. The photos did not show a battery or charger, but it said that it worked and it can't work without those critical items. When I contacted him, he said that he separates them to make more profit like a car with no tires. Bad response. Wow. That's, uh... The shittiest thing that i've read all day next up client says used item philly says new item buyer's just upset that he tried to cancel an item was already shipped so i couldn't cancel and now was lying about the items being used or new again this thing was like five dollars to leave negative feedback about a five dollar item shows what kind of person you are so it's an eight dollar item first of all it says it right there but I just think it's a little ironic that you're giving this guy crap about complaining about a cheap item like that when the majority of my video on you yesterday was you complaining about a $3 Fitbit watch. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. I just wanted to point out this, um, you know, this dude's feedback and everything. It's pretty rough. And uh, I mean, 24 negatives in the last 12 months, that's, uh, that's an average of two a month. So that's, that's pretty bad. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, man, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.